Base Hall City, Bethlehem. EMS units respond to the area of Bethlehem Catholic High School, 2133 Madison Avenue, to report a head-on collision near the high school. Getting numerous calls on it now. Cross streets are Dewberry Avenue How and Elmhurst Avenue. That? Experiencing something, even if it's in mock form, is always more effective than reading or being told about it. Sad as students against drunk driving, the SAD program does these mock crashes for the students. 20 years ago, we actually started here uh, doing this program. The main goal is for our young people to realize about distractive driving. Whether it's drinking and driving, whether it's cell phones, whether it's texting, realizing that one simple uh, mistake can alter somebody else's life. The police arrive like normally does on an accident scene. They make some initial assessments, fires right quickly behind them, and then the paramedics do come in. We find someone who's deceased. That person's placed right up front, so that pretty much sets the mood as, look, this is a very serious incident. Seeing the crash is a lot more impactful. It's what these people see on a daily basis. We wouldn't really see that. Seeing the actual cars, the, um, the methods they use just make puts a more like real twist on everything. I was the victim who was paralyzed. Being put into the helicopter um, and secured and everything, it was a really intense experience. It don't you know it almost feels real. They used the full resources of the city to make it as realistic as possible. Cutting the victims out of the car, the helicopter, locking my daughter up with the handcuffs, giving her the field sobriety test. This was a moving experience. It's something I never want to live through. St. Luke's is so excited to participate in this program. The trauma piece entails the mock resuscitation, so when the injured students come, we do the mock resuscitation. So getting the physicians there, the PAs there, the nurses, the techs, all of the people that are responsible for a real trauma alert. After that, the county coroner, along with Connell Funeral Home, arrives and they take the body after the family members have identified the body. Knowing that it can happen to one of my classmates is a scary thing. Like. We, you don't think it can happen to you, but it really can. It can happen to anyone, anytime, anywhere. The mock funeral is also a really, I think, impactful experience for the students who are gonna come in and see a coffin and a picture of the student who was actually the class president. So it's someone everyone can relate to, everyone knows, and seeing him gone is it, gonna be a very impactful experience for them. The aggregate sentence to be served is not less than six nor more than 12 years in a state correctional institution. Because of the choices that one person made to drink and drive, I lost my best friend. No, don't get into that car. Don't drink, don't drive. But that means that each one of you has to choose. Choose the harder right instead of the easier wrong. Choose to live honorably. I think it's a very impactful message to the school. People don't think it will happen unless they can see it. That's a big thing, I think, with young people, that we don't really think that it can happen to us. And seeing it happen to someone you know, that's a lot more life-changing than anything else. The SAD program is important because it offers a mock real-life approach for students to truly experience the consequences of poor decision-making when they're behind the wheel of a car. Even if one person doesn't get behind the wheel of a car drunk, this was all worth it. It's Katie from the ASR team here. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos. To see more of The Peak TV, check out our website, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and catch us on WFMZ Channel 69.